This is the first of three videos on how to build the Avon Ballista. Before we begin, there's a few things you should gather. First, a pair of scissors, some carpenter's glue, and a piece of sandpaper. Um, what I've got here is 150 grit. Anything from 100 to 220 will work just fine. And if you don't have any sandpaper, don't worry about it, no problem at all. All right, let's begin. Let's start out by taking a look at what's included in the kit. There's a lower breech, an upper breech, a base stabilizer, an upper frame, a lower frame, two throwing arms, two uprights, and in the parts bag, there's a trigger, four torsion pins, these are the shorter dowels, an axle, that's a slightly longer dowel, two stop pins, the trigger axle, three pieces of ammo, trigger slips, the knock bead, two uh, loops of string, and a paper clip. All right, let's begin by assembling the breech. I'm just going to get a quick rub on the sandpaper, bring the sandpaper here, just to tidy things up just a little bit. Again, if you don't have sandpaper, no big deal. scrub just on the face. You'll notice the pieces are laser cut and they have a slightly darker edge where the lasers cut them out of their surrounding wood. First I think it gives a kind of a neat look. All right, set the sandpaper aside and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue. Again, you don't need a lot, a little bit will do you. and we'll attach that like so. That's the breech. We're already done step one. Now let's apply a little bit of glue. Again, just a little bit to the upper and lower frames. The lower frame is the one with a notch in it. The upper frame has no notch. The lower frame goes beneath the lower breech like that, and again, you can use the shaded area to line it up exactly. And we'll put this on the top, and just double check to make sure everything's lined up, using the shaded area as a guide, like that. All right, next step are the trigger slips. These are these two small little parts here. And again, I'm just going to give them a little bit of rub on the sandpaper. Bring the sandpaper over here. And just a little bit of glue. they'll be aligned with the heavier part, the thicker part towards the back and in the corner of the breech, just like that. Apply the other one now. And even though the glue hasn't completely dried, you can see that we can just keep uh, going on with the assembly. Everything will be held together as we complete the, uh, complete the model. So the next thing I'm going to do are attach the, um, the pivot blocks, the two pivot blocks. And they get glued both together just with a little bit of glue. just going to smear that glue around a little bit. 
like that. And then a little bit of glue on the bottom. And wipe that around a little bit. And they fit right into the notch. So I'm just going to make sure the, uh, everything's still lined up. Perfect. And if you ever leave some glue behind, you can just give it a little wipe. Tidy things up a little bit. Alright, so we'll leave that side to dry for a little bit now, and uh, in about half an hour, we'll come back and uh, continue with the next step. Alright, now that the glue has had a little bit of a chance to dry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the trigger. So what we need is a trigger axle and the trigger. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slip this through the, tr the trigger slips. Like so. And all the way through. So now we can set that aside. I'll set that over there for now. And we can get to work on the base. The base consists of the stabilizer, the base, and two uprights. So I'm just give those a light sanding before we begin. Again, no sandpaper, no problem. four sanded pieces. Just set that aside. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue right to the end here. And notch a little bit. Slip this together. Like that. Any excess glue we can just wipe off with a damp cloth. And likewise, a little bit of glue right on the bottom here. And there's a notch on each of the uh, uprights. The notch goes towards the front of the stabilizer. You just push that straight down like that and repeat to the other side. thing we can do now is assemble the uh, base to the breech just by slipping this will go slip through there and through these two pivot blocks through and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue right at the end and then wait 
with that. So now the upper part of the ballista can pivot freely against uh, along the base. All right.